Yeah, this is the full pipe oh, right here. My. It's just amazing that this is your backyard. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're doing that today, baby. This is actually the first time I won gold. Oh, wow. <laughs> On Mega. How yeah. tall is that? That is a 30 foot. 30, 30 foot? Oh, <laughs> oh baby. We're, making, we're doing things today. Alright guys, we are extremely excited and very privileged to be here with the world famous Bob Burnquist. Yes! Toothless. <laughs> Toothless. <laughs> okay, so this is your house. This is it, man. You guys are welcome. This is called Dreamland. Uh, we just got here. I specifically wanted to start filming before he took us around everything so that when we see everything, we can freak out. Fresh reaction. Yeah, fresh reaction. <laughs> so I don't even know how to introduce you. You You just did, man. That's I it. I don't know. That's it. That's all you need. He, uh, he's like won everything, literally. <laughs> I, how many gold And I've medals? lost everything, too. That's part of That's it. That's part of the thing, right? That's right. And he has some of the most insane video parts ever filmed. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're the first person to ever, you might be the only person to ever do this, like in a full pipe and go all the way around. I was for a while, but I've seen, I've been seeing footage of people. Uh, Somebody else was yeah, like, crazy enough doing, to do that. Doing uh, on tighter places or different places, which is, you know, it's cool to see. I think uh, Kowalski, I seen him do some. Cause it's no, in the it's firm cool. video, yes, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, from pumping within. I mean, the baldy thing was like the scariest thing I've ever done in my life, and that was like I'm, you know, I I wish I would have made it then, but I'm glad I got broken off because it just kept me from getting even more. hurt worse, even <laughs> you know. So I mean, but I, you know, and I don't know about going back and all that, but it's just a great memory, and you know, and, yeah. And that's it. <laughs> no. yeah. I don't even know how to explain how insane this is, but in a full pipe, that's like sometimes when you see people do this thing, the loop. There's like the drop in. Yeah, you get the roll in the Hot Wheels track. You get right? the roll in the Hot Wheels track and you go around the loop and you go like that. I thought this was physically impossible to do, but it's just a full pipe and, and he's in there and he's pumping. And then on one go, he pumps so hard, he goes all the way around. Hey, it worked, man. It is like, it should, it literally should not be possible. Well, you don't know until you know, right? So yeah. I had to try it. And then I didn't do Baldy, but then I came back home and I was thinking, I have to do it somewhere. I'm trying to figure out where. And I'm like, let me just practice in my pipe. And I'm like, wait a minute, this is where I'm gonna do it. I gotta do it right here. So I ended up doing it in my backyard. So. That's where it was? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's yeah. It. I just remember We're about this to see it. clip of this video yeah. and it just starting and you're like, no, he's not, he doesn't think he's gonna actually do that. And then he's boom, <laughs> and you're like, oh my gosh. So take us around, show us yeah, everything. Yeah, let's do it. Well, we're about to head to the first part of Dreamland, which is the, the vert bowl. Vert bowl. The vert bowl action. So this used to be wood. That's right. And then when we first built it, it was wood. And I had to redo it a couple of times, or like one time. And then when I was about to redo it again, I was like, man, I'm going to have to keep doing this. So yeah. I was hanging with Jeff King and we were talking about, you know, what I should do or whatever. And he's like, well, let's try and concrete this. And we called Hubbard, RIP, Grindline. And they came over and we just kind of, let's see if we can just layer over it. And, and now it's all Crete. So they just layered yeah, over it with Yeah, it's concrete. all, yeah, oh. rebar on top. They said it was like the best mold that they've ever had. You know, yeah. it's already done and everything. So we pulled <laughs> the skate light out and then we just kind of like rebarred everything, steel beams, you know, so the whole piece of wood underneath can catch on fire and fall, but this thing will stay. Wow. Cool. And you can actually see it right there because in the channel, you can see oh, how yeah. right here. Oh, even, wow. Yeah, see how the coping and, and, and the wood oh, is under yeah. there? Yeah. That is so crazy. So that's the layer over it. You got the Crete over it. So it's like, that's you know, awesome. that much taller. So we lost a little bit of flat bottom because everything got, you know, taller. So it just mm -hmm. tightened up. And then the open loop tightened up a lot. You know, it's a little harder to, or the cradle, I mean, to go around now because it's tighter. But hey, I get to, you know, skate and not have to worry about water damage. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> amazing. Oh, th this then we is added insane. next stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we had, we had to add the one, yeah. you know. <laughs> it's just amazing that this is your backyard. You know, I wake up to that realization all the time. It's not yeah. like I got jaded to it. Yeah. You know, it's always like when I'm cruising around, I'm just like, oh my gosh. You know, there are a lot of times when I'm alone, you know, so I'll just kind of come out here and cruise around. I don't skate the bowl so much. I don't recommend skating alone, by the way. Right. You always have to have the buddy system is is a good one for a reason. Yeah. yeah. You go down, you hit your head, you get hurt or whatever. You have to have someone to, and if you're alone, try to skate with your phone, but you could land on it and crack it and then you still don't have anyone. So it's... Yeah. Or not <laughs> yourself yeah. out and then exactly. you're not using the phone exactly yeah. this what is all this? stuff that was around so this box right here 
I don't know if you guys remember, there's that Big Brother mag cover. It was a drop-in in the firm video too. Mm -hmm. That was standing up tall over oh, there. Oh no! That's, that, that's what I dropped in from. <laughs> yeah. And then from that's there, insane. yeah. And then from there, it went to here, and I put it on the the quarter pipe yeah. to the bowl section. Wow. And it was a skate ad. And then it ended up there, and now it's deteriorating. <laughs> and that's what happened. So th this is the one right here? Yeah, this is the full pipe oh, right here. Oh, my god! You went all the way around it. Yeah, dude. that's it. Oh. Love having a full pipe, man. Oh. It's treacherous. Keep filming. Anything can happen. <laughs> it's just that the no flat bottom thing makes it treacherous. How <laughs> on earth? <laughs> Well, I, I got a lot of time on transition. I got that, so. <laughs> Ten to four hours. Yeah. <laughs> so it might seem odd. That was using a commercial that a friend a friend of mine was in, and then they were gonna throw it away. I guess they paid like ten grand for it, and they're throwing it away. And my buddy's like, "Ah, oh, I got a place that you can probably take it to." And then I'm like, "Yeah, just you know, just get it over here. I'll, I'll have a crane waiting." So they just didn't want the cost of like getting it off the thing. So they had a crane right there, and it's so like this huge thing. Yeah, like it came above. It was all wood. It came above here, and I was just like, ah, "If it falls over that," <laughs> so, and it turned around, boom. And then it was actually over here, and then we rolled it this way when the corkscrew came in. Okay. Okay, what, is, what in the world is this? That is a corkscrew, but basically, I was actually watching an old movie. It was a car chase, it's like an old James Bond movie. And it's like, a, and, and he does this thing over the bridge. I don't know if you've ever seen that. He does a roll, like goes over the bridge like that. Oh yeah. And then boom, it lands perfectly on the other side. So you thought, but whoa, we should skate that. I heard that the guy, <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely looked at it and I'm like, that would have been fun to do on a skateboard. <laughs> I know that, that because I was I was checking out history on that stunt or whatever, and they and, and the guy like had all those calculations because it's a car. So the ramp and all that has to be perfect. That was kept secret. So anytime they wanted to do, so they he kept this, you know, design, yeah. you know, and uh, but I was like, well, I'm not a car, you know, and I can move around. So it doesn't have to be perfect. I can kind of adjust and throw myself in the place that I would need to. So, but. Yeah. I didn't know how, where to, to kind of build it. And that came from the slam at Baldy, this realization right here. Because when I fell, I was like going super fast carving and I yeah. had to carve and then go straight. But on that one, for some reason, I kind of went diagonal. So I lost all my speed in this spinning motion. I was like in Explain this- Explain the whole Baldy thing. So the Baldy was like the full pipe, the long full pipe. So for, for me to get speed to try it, I had to come carving way from back and then like turn tight and go straight. Right, and you were trying to go all the way around there to do the loop. And then what happened? And then so I got close a couple of times, and then on the last time I kind of went sideways on it, so it kind of corked me. Yeah. And that made me land on my foot awkward and my hand, so I broke my hand, I broke my foot, sprained my left ankle. Like I was like pretty, I was done. And luckily I had a bunch of buddies there. Salva was there, he knew the way out or whatever. Yeah. But that picture in my mind, I was like, oh man, that's actually like, you know, cause I can see the <laughs> ramp in the side, you know? And then when this came about, I was like, all right, maybe I'll try to see if this works, you know? And, it's I mean, it's it was... so interesting to me <laughs> to talk to people like you yeah. because most people would do that and they'd be like, well, that's a bad idea. I should never do that again. But you were like, you know, that could kind of work. I, and then I could figure out like a thing and then the James Bond car scene. And then well, I just put it together, you know? Yeah. From, like, you know, but normal like, okay, people, that... not, you know, you're an extraordinary well, all, person. Hey. Yeah. We're all creative. That's right. Everyone That's right. is, yeah. right? So it's just how you put that creation into my skills, take my creation into that level, but it doesn't yeah. mean that you can't create anything, right? It's just, that's all it is. So it's yeah. like whatever it's skill that I've acquired yeah. over the time, like I became a pilot, I became a skydiver, then I put the thing in the in the Grand Canyon, then I did the helicopter. It's all because as time went on, as I acquired these abilities, different ideas came to my mind. He's talking about real things, by the way. He actually <laughs> did of all course. of those things. I just want people to to understand because yeah. they, they won't understand. They'll no, be like, oh, he's just mentioning being a pilot in a helicopter. I'm, yeah, I'm just uh, trying to put that in frame that in, you know, your skills give you your ideas. You yeah. know, the more skills you acquire, different ideas come to mind. And it, it's not like I can't have this idea before that slam. Yeah. You know, or right. I can't do this before, you know, uh, Dwayne Peters or Tony Hawk did the loop. Yeah. Right? right. And then I have to get to a point and then my skill and having, oh, maybe I'll do it because they've done it and I can do it in this. Yeah. Like, you know, so it takes, and skateboarding evolves like that. And yeah. That's just, you know, how it is. It's just that, you know, if I think of something, I want to make sure I can try it. 
you know, yeah. and a lot of people think and don't get through materializing it. And, right. And that's just, and it's not that you can't do it, it's just that you didn't go through trying to make it happen. Right, and all of the stuff that it takes. I mean, even just like, okay, we're going to build this ramp. Who's going to build it? How do we pay for all the wood? How do we, that, there's a lot well, going gotta, on yes. there. There's a lot that's of situations. Right. That's to, right. There's a lot of barriers to overcome but to put a mega ramp in the back of your house. You can do it anytime. <laughs> you can. Anything. You can. If you think of a new trick, I mean, it's just as rewarding to think of something creative now and do it yeah than it is to land this yeah but this just took longer time it's you know? just cool it's just really cool you guys can do it too <laughs> so it's kind of like and also surfing you know yeah. i definitely after i started surfing it's just a different flow uh, approach to things but that little side <laughs> that side quarter is like i'd roll in and then hit that side quarter there low so that i can go at the right spot and the takeoff was right there so and if i good. yeah if i took off anywhere outside of that it, you know i'm either landing right in the bottom here or you know so like it was scary to to find it but once i found it i just went every time and it every time would throw me on that yeah roll in and give a hit yeah a little surf action like this, yeah where that sticker was so take right off there. take off front side land in the air right is what it ends up being it's like right. a roll so wait so you're left foot forward so you're going like this no and then and then you go like that it's a roll no yeah. Yeah, it's not. absolutely <laughs> absolutely if, if you do a lean air you end up a, a backside air right if you do a front side air you end up in the air okay so i tried ollie it and it didn't work i kept hanging up actually right there you can see the spot where i was hanging up oh my God. See, I think my, can't, my, can't, my can't back flipping board, skills you know, on my feet and just, might uh -huh. might do yeah. me justice here, dog. Wait, so, so you're coming up like this? Yeah, front off, side. Off it, 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 if you go over there, you'll see it better. Yeah, like that, exactly. And then, and then land there, yeah. And just a roll, whatever the board, following what the board's doing. Yeah, so it, it, it ends up being a, uh, it's like a roll. So when you hung up upside down, that wasn't a problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny is I had a tennis ball right there just so I wouldn't get like, ah, and on that thing. So it's not there anymore, but it was. I don't know if it was. In my mind, it would, you know, and that was enough. Should we go to the mega ramp? Let's go. Do you get random people trying to say, hey, let me come skate the mega ramp? Before Pat Duffy, yes. And then what? Tell <laughs> After Pat Duffy, a lot less. Right. Like almost like the zero. And the thing was that you know, mega's exciting and all that, and, it, and it's fun, and you can get over it. The quarter pipe is the harsh part. And yeah. If you don't have any air skills or any kind of, it is going to be dangerous. And even if you have the vert skills, you can attack it in a weird way. So the first hit is always the most dangerous. After you hit it once, oh okay, you see what the legs are doing, you say, and then you adjust. But the yeah. first go, everyone's first go has been like. You know, you got some story or like landed on the deck or landed super low or, you know, Sandra Diaz, like, you know, this is awesome for airs and everything. And then yeah. when you hit the quarter pipe, because the vert is a lot quicker, so he kind of did that motion yeah. and the quarter pipe kept going. So then he just ended up in this like upside down, had this weird slam. And then the next one was easier oh, and easier like, and easier. Yeah. Realized. Pat Duffy was also the same situation, like hitting the quarter pipe. So he came out here, he's trying to jump the gap, jump the gap, uh, he's grabbing in India. We're talking about that. And then um, I didn't think he was exactly, he actually got it done really quick. Yeah. But and so I thought that it was like close to nighttime and, and I thought he was going to test it out and then come out and film the next day. Yeah. So I was done skating and walked over, I was here by the pool and, and then uh, I hear him, uh, people screaming and he lands and I'm like, yes. And at the same time, I was like, ah, we didn't talk about the quarter pipe. <laughs> and I know Pat has vert skills because yeah. he does skate, but it's you know a completely different place. So yeah. what, what happened, he just kind of like did the wobble and squat yeah so when you do that anywhere you do on tranny that when you get out of the squat it takes you to flat, flat. right so he did that and i think he was trying to slow down right to like hey this is a lot of speed let me try and slow it down he wasn't out of control he just you know yeah. and and then that made him do that right and then when he went to bail because he doesn't ride transition all the time or you know you're jumping and you're running out of stuff yeah people tend to put their foot down and on mega you don't you got to ball up you never put your hand foot in you, know, you just either go to straight the body straight the knee because when you put your foot down you roll it break it so when he put his leg down it was the impact was so much yeah and then it compact like fractured like his femur i think the tip the tip of it or something so basically if you're gonna fall on a mega ramp you just ball up and just let it go yeah and, and then you just take the hit yeah and it's okay hey it's better <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you know <laughs> that's it and by the way down there was the where the loop was and it's no longer there yeah this is where it, the loop was it was like 2002 2001 we built yeah 2002 
It's for that king of skate. So I connected, it was like it was actually right there and there was a rail that went across from the vert to the rolling. So the whole thing was trying to mat to, to attach the, the loop to the vert. So it was like, you know, the nose grind on it and then loop and then a trick on the quarter. So I wanted to make it like in a in a in a line and not just a thing. Yeah, nose grind, land, loop, and then blunt kick flip. That was my combo. <laughs> that was... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just fell out of his mouth right now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it's over. So I'll tell you that. But yeah. actually, when it was up, I skated it like, like any time I skated vert, I'd drop in and do the loop. So there was a time where the loop was like a, you know, it just was in there constantly. It's a regular thing. Did a bunch of shows, and that's another thing. Just like Pat, when that happened and it stopped. Yeah. When when Tony came out and when he slammed, a lot of us kind of like then it was like, man, is it really worth doing it all the time? Because it's you know it's really a simple thing, but it's you know it's not a kickflip back tail, yeah. tray flip out. You know like yeah. it's it's a carve, but that 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 can just take you out so big. Yeah. You know so you don't gotta tell yeah, me. So it's a you mental game. I know. <laughs> it's totally possible, and you can do it. And Tony's loop is really good. It's nice yeah. and fast. And we were skating his loop like during the shows we did for a boom boom hook jam yeah yeah and you know we did it like i mean twice a day for 30 days straight or something super fast clean loop yeah we came here we're filming for the this wild boys thing i think we're both in gorilla suits and i guess we, we deserved it you know <laughs> and, but By doing i, it I, I wanted suit. to slam i didn't want tony to slam the bottom of the loop was just a lot tighter a lot slower than his loop so we we're yeah. so used to that so he missed the pump kind of what brian schaefer did and did the blah, blah, did yeah. a couple of hits and went down down. And then I did the the loop because I knew that in my mind if I didn't go do that, oh, I would let it go and the then not do pipe, it. All, the full pipe yeah. loop. So that while he was in bed injured, I remember I was like, and right before it, I was you know I was thinking of him. I was thinking of Tony. He's like, I gotta do this. So you know, Tony Hawk like, injured himself and yeah. was in bed injured, and you were like, all right, this is the time I need to. Well, do I it. have to do it because if not, his injury can get into my head too. But it so you have already. to break through it. No, it was getting there. So I'm like, I gotta do I that see. now. You know, it's like anything. You're gonna yeah. go down a rail, yeah. You're like, you better go do it right then. And, yeah, you know, because yeah. it's all a mental game, you it know, is. skateboarding is. So, it is. So well, that's true. it. So that, you know, I did that and I took it, you know, I was like, hey, Tony, I got to show you this, man. So, yeah. you know, I mean, was, <laughs> but that's it, man. Injuries of other people or my own or however, that's usually catalyzes into something. It's fascinating. Yeah. How old are you? 43. You're 43 yeah. and you're still jumping over the mega ramp. Yeah, I mean that's old man. You know? <laughs> that's an old man's uh, job right there. It's I call it asthmatic skateboarding. I'm, yeah, I'm, I have asthma by the way, so I just get a ride to the top and drop in. You know, okay. that's it. Don't have to no no. And now the effort stretching comes. is there. Yeah, extra, we do all like... that. You know, yeah, it's it's healthy. Yeah, and, you know, eating right and all those things and make sure you're active because yeah. you can you can be active to your 80s. Not it just really doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, it's if you stop. And then to be attached is yeah. like a whole nother game. So That's main thing I is like yeah. nonstop. So if you're 10 or 12 years old right now, just don't stop. Yeah, <laughs> and the key, the, and the key point that he that he made is like that you do got to be healthy. You got to be healthy to That's keep right. it going like this. That's right. You can grab a tangerine. Talking about health, that thing's Absolutely. killing it right there. Right now. <laughs> that was my breakfast today. Yeah, let's take the graffiti lane. This is amazing. So you got your house, you got your offices, more yeah, offices. Yeah, this office that my sister spends more time in than I do. And then this is the boardroom. This Lucky was a little room. Yeah, this thing's cool. All right, I'd like the you know, art studio. I got a bunch of stuff in there. And then, uh, so it's a cool room for the organics. Uh, we've done the past and I'm gonna reconnect and then prep kitchen, bathroom. We'll do the walk around now, we'll do the skating later. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't even, Jeez. can't even imagine. Just look at that rail. That's the funnest thing here, man, the rail. The rail? I think, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this is back in 2004. I got this land. My name, someone bought it. They're gonna build a bunch of houses, and then yeah. so you I had the like, house. And then they I had the house, but they needed that piece of land to get through. Yeah. And then I was just like, well, I'm not selling. They, so they were locked, and then I was like, well, I tried to put something together and say, I will buy that from you. Yeah. Because they were in the situation where like now they can't really build and develop. Yeah. So then um, they sold it, and I got it. That's awesome. Yeah. I got it for the mega ramp. Because yeah. at that time, it was right at the time where it was happening. You know, we we're talking to Danny, we we're skating Point X, and then I was just like, man, it'd be cool to have one closer. The land seemed to 
make it fit. Yeah. You know, I was like, well, I can. I was like, oh, there's a creek. I guess we'll jump over it. We'll build a bridge. <laughs> we had to fit a mega ramp in here. Yeah, it's been here ever since. It's all scaffolding on all footers. Scaffolding. Yeah, and then just sections. So it's basically a temporary structure. I tell people it's a greenhouse, and I skate on the roof, so it's legal. But <laughs> Dude, that, that is <laughs> massive. Okay, and this is all skate light. All skate light right here. We just got 50 new sheets from them, and just applied them. And it's, I mean, there's 50 sheets of five by 12s, and it doesn't even put a dent. How yeah. tall is that? That is a 30 foot. 30, 30 foot? Oh, <laughs> oh baby. Gotta learn. We're making, we're doing things I today. Knew. I knew it was at least 30. I mean, you look at that. Yeah. That's a building. Yeah. This is coping on top. That's not, that's insane. I think it's like uh, just under 30, but it's the transition and it's two feet of vert. So it's supposed to be the same. So if that whatever, whatever uh, measurements are there are here, but I remember skating Woodward and it just felt different and hang up all the time. So I don't know. Do you the know what the transition is? No. I'd have to look in the plans and stuff, but like, it's over 20. Right, so yeah. just 20 to give, foot transition, to give yeah. you guys a perspective, like a regular transition on like a small quarter pipe would be like seven and a half foot transition, meaning like the point from here to the bottom, and then you make that curve is seven and a half feet. So this is 20 feet and Yeah, it's like over 20. High. So basically the higher you want to go, the, the, the bigger the transition. Yeah, the more mellow. The bigger the quarter. I always do two feet of vert everywhere. Yeah, why? It just seems to work, you know, nice. You okay. know? And so anytime I go build something with vert, I try to do two, two feet. feet. Yeah, okay. like, cause we're always like, oh, maybe you need more vert, but you don't. Cause it would, more vert would just kind of like take you to the flat bottom a lot. And yeah. so if you snap wrong, so just two feet seems to work. How often do you have to re-screw or make sure that none of these screws are popping up? Pretty much almost every uh, rain kind of is a good rain. measure. And actually before I skate, you know, I'll, I'll do it and we have a screw gun in there and just in case, cause it could really end your day, man, if one's popping out. Bruno's the one that got it though. Like he, I was like, we're back in the, in the early days. I was trying to get him to follow cam, trying to have him do the box a bunch and skate more, you know, like, and just at least jump the gap and follow. <laughs> um, at least know. jump the He's gap. Bruno. I'm so He's glad I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you're not the filmer here. <laughs> yeah. But that's the For level real? of filming you gotta do. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you just like at least jump it. Yeah. You gotta follow. jump it. If at you're least a do filmer. the follow cam, right? Yeah, Gabe. Bruno has like one combi before, so Bruno. Oh yeah. I love filming with him because he just you know if you can't do something, he'll out rip you. You want a filmer yeah. that can skate better than you if you can. Yeah, right? yeah. Because yeah. then you're like, if you don't, you know, and if you don't land it, he will. He will. And then you're like, and, okay, and, you know, and then it just makes you. I mean, Bruno and I skating and filming is because I'll film him too, and so yeah. perfect. So he was doing that, and then he came down knee slid, and then all of a sudden he catches a screw and he's just like ah oh, man my knee and he opens it up and it was like his knee was like open was like i don't know over 20 stitches or something and he was the i mean i skate this thing like non-stop and he was just skating in a couple of days trying to get into it and then that happens you know i was like oh man with knee pads yeah but i have hurt myself with screws before that you're sliding down and then the screw catches your shoelace yeah and then it makes your leg spin a different way or knee you know or a twist in the ankle so that we're like we're looking at that all the time oh, here, here's one here's one yeah so you you look this is either like we pull it out or we put it back in and these are all new so <laughs> bruno just kind of came around and did these after the rain so the ramp breathes i mean sometimes we, yeah. we, we cut through this gap here you know because it's just kind of water up so yeah. much and then we give it a little breather but then summer comes around and all of a sudden that gap was, was is huge and we're like oh man you gotta just pop a skate light out and put yeah it back in. so i think this is my favorite thing is the step up it's the brazil gap you know there's the euro gap is that what you do <laughs> <laughs> that's the brazil gap and they have a net it's so the board doesn't up? land on your head we're, we're like going out you know this is like the the part that's like the mellow you know if, you, if like anyone were to try it like it's just you know it's speed you'll get up there i come as far to the edge as possible and then i go into the wall it's scary to do that you know eventually i realized that is the safest a lot of the guys that start you know skating here they tend to go like this instead of going straight because they're scared of the hip or whatever the edge can hit that and then land low like elliot italo like they've gotten some heavy slams like that but that's because they're like doing that because i i go like this and if i land on the deck i'm like hugging the deck and i'm staying on there yeah you know? so but it's a scary for you to go like that to make that takes a little bit it takes a couple slams hopefully not yours i love how every slam has a 
name attached to it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be like, oh, well, what if this happens? Well, it's a love. This right. <laughs> <laughs> they do, man. They yeah, he names. didn't walk away. Because you don't forget, you know? Yeah. You got the Jake Brown. You got the oh, D Way. No. The Jake Brown. The Jake Brown's the gnarliest. The I don't want the Jake Brown. Drop in for sure if you're you taking know, the board you know up there. I, I will. No. What did you, you say? Look at Andy. Notice how I don't have a board. Lucky I'm not Phelps. You can make any rolling. <laughs> I've seen Jake Phelps shoot a guy with a BB gun to roll in. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I mean, we do paintball guns here. <laughs> oh no. Or maybe he tightened it up. He's like, I'm going mega. It's fun to do just lip trick. I come up here, it's just tiring, but like going up on the land, walking up the landing and then trying lip tricks. Oh yeah. Oh, we're doing that today, baby. Absolutely. <laughs> that is our night. That's it, man. <laughs> It's the fun we have around here. It's amazing. <laughs> right when you hit the transition, that's the spot where your legs got to be strong. Yeah. You know, you got to be chilling, chilling. Then we hit that, it's just solid. And then you Tight get enough. a good snap. Because if you're like doing that one and you get to here, that's when it's like you either land on the deck or you land on. This is the scariest part. This is just part. wild to me. Like, <laughs> yeah. this is. It's just, this, this is, is the scariest amazing. part of the mega ramp. It's the one that's hurt the most people. Yeah, the quarter pipe. It's the one I respect the most. Yeah. So you go down you go the down? manual path, you get higher. <laughs> yeah, no one's done it that way. I told uh, Jaws when he came out here, but they were filming for the King of the Road thing, and I think he was like, oh, I don't know. But I could see him doing it. But but this right here gave me an idea for another obstacle. Dude, actually, that is a good spot for it. I just realized that now. You put like a, a, a bank, oh. but like a long bank and somewhat of a mellow. Okay. Then that Then you can do like 15 to 20 foot drops into that bank. You know? <laughs> Probably get a roll in. I'll look into that. Actually, I, that was the first time I looked at that spot. So, okay, so hopefully soon that'll happen. So tell me this. How do you figure out, because somebody builds this ramp, and then how did the physics work from the drop-in so you know that you're going to make it? Well, now we know because it's figured out. We've right. skated over the years. We know that that jump, that speed takes you here. It's figured out. But over time, that landing was super short. It was like this small landing where we used to do just the, the long jumps, yeah. and then we'd end up in a, a mattress. It's kind of like if you're going to jump 10 feet, yeah. you want a 10 foot rolling. Okay, so right? if you're going to jump 10 feet, you want a 10 foot roll. At least start there. If you're going to be building something in your house or whatever, start <laughs> yeah. there. You know, five feet, get, like, you know, then do a little five foot. But if you give yourself maybe eight, then you'll know you'll get across. If you do 10, then you might miss it altogether. So there's. And so this is what, how big is the gap? Um, to the sweet spot is 50. 50 feet, yeah. so you have a 50 foot rolling. So the idea is when you drop in on that, how fast are you going? I don't know how fast, maybe thir over 30. Okay. Like maybe 40, depending on, you know, 35 if we're doing off the big gap. Basically that's, I think those are the speeds, even though people go faster on their boards. Yeah. But then now you're, you're, you're still doing tricks in the middle of that speed. So you're gonna wobble, <laughs> you gotta accept oh, that. Yeah. There, you see a little wobble there? He wobbles a little bit. Just a mini wobble, but it's there. It's you know? there, yeah. yeah. All right, let's skate. <laughs> Go to the top. And by let's skate, I mean somebody, not me. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just going to show you this real quick. This is one of my favorite items here. My dad gave me this. Oh, that's awesome. Whoa. So he made it in a curve. A he, saw, he saw me, you know, taking grip tape. And I was like, oh, I think you need this type of knife. So he got this into me. And then uh, I would use the back of it to... Then I stopped doing that so I don't lose the knife. Yeah. But I would do the back first yeah. and then cut it. So this is pretty much all my setups. From dad to Bob, That's it says right. on the handle. That's so cool. That's right. So we're skating mega. No here. big deal. <laughs> There's plenty of boards if you don't have one. I can. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so thanks. So today we'll skate mega. So you see here, I just got this board rack. And I got like, you know, if we're going to do some mountain boarding or whatever. Yeah. I set this up back in the day. It's there. Some of the different stuff. I'm using a slalom board. It's a oh, nice yeah, slalom nice. board. Got that weird setup there on the, on the right. I'm regular and they're set up like this for regular footers That's for some reason. That's yeah. supposed to be like that. Yeah. What the world? I got this from uh, Boston. He was like, he hooked me up. And That's then really Scott cool. Gave me the setup the way you know it's supposed to be. Even back, the back of it has that angle on the yeah. riser pad. Look at that. Interesting. I mean, who thinks of these things? I have no idea. Not me. I think of I think of this. This is my mega board. So the wide what's the difference trucks. here? Well, the difference. This is like your okay. Oh, here's another mega board. I'm just showing. 
This is actually the first time I won gold oh, wow. <laughs> on Mega. No big 2007. deal. 2007. This is the year Jake Brown. Oh right man! Because so this board has emotions, and this a lot of people thought these were magnets and they're Free shoes. Yeah, they're GPS uh, fancy. Or really? Or yeah. So they're doing the height and the speed oh, thing. Oh, what? You know, and it was the year I, I, I was doing the switch backside ollies over the whole gap. You know, yeah. so they're like, oh, there's magnets for sure. I watched that video <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> so yeah, well there you go. This is the board, but that's a uh, 215. Indies, stability, <laughs> super wide. And it's even wider than the board. So how wide is this board? 8.5? Eight 8.5. Five? Eight five. Jake's been trying like some, a board that's wide, as wide as the trucks. And yeah. It's kind of like this big ship. It's just weird looking, but yeah. it, you know, it, it Works. felt like it was, uh, it could be good. So it's just, you know, you're constantly trying it. And, and this is really tight on the trucks. Really tight. So what's the difference between? I mean, you can try it, but th this, since this is like, I haven't ridden in a while, it might have loosened up a little bit. So if I did the, the Mega on this board, what would happen? Just to give them You'd a perspective. Wobble. Fill You'd wobble. You would wobble a lot. Yeah, and you'd be wobbling, I mean. I would die. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe to take a long story short. Where, where's mine? This is what I've been riding. I don't know, well this one, I, I won the contest here just uh, in August at my house. We have one for Brazilian TV. Wow. So I've been riding it because this guy, I haven't set up a new board. This is like, shows a little more how Whoa. hard and deep I want to make sure they okay. are when I'm skating and competing and depending how fast. So you put on an extra washer just to yeah. make it extra tight. Extra tight. And in the bottom uh, bushing, I do the square, the square bushing, not the, you know, the angled one that most, most trucks have now. Whoa. I go, you know, old school square. So then the back truck, and I do that for my uh, vert board and bigger pool transition, just because I like the back a little more solid. Wow. And then on the front, I'll do the angled. But Pro yeah, tip. it's just, yeah, exactly. So, but they're hard, you know, it's like hard and super hard. And then all the way as, as far down as possible. And, you know, other than that you can change the wheels i mean the main thing is having the trucks tight and wide yeah. how big are the yeah. wheels 60 millimeters 60s wow these are 60s it's so. uh, it just, yeah, it just blows me away yeah. that's really crazy wow thank you you're welcome that was amazing awesome i i don't even know what to say hey i'm just happy you guys are here so <laughs> i like showing them around you know a lot of fun memories i'm happy nobody died <laughs> everybody yeah walked away yeah 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 <laughs> yet. yes thank you a huge thanks i cannot thank you enough for allowing us to come out here and um, have this experience. For sure, man. Just, I'm glad you guys are here. This is, you know, it's I love, you know, building and sharing. You know, it's like, uh, you can have fun alone, but what's the fun in that? That's right. So check out everything Bob has going on. Links will be in the description below. Go check it out. You got some incredible stuff coming up. Always, man, just blessed. It's fun, you know? Life is uh, it's fresh for doing anything we want to do, so let's just gotta make it happen. This is literally your house. <laughs> <laughs> Check out all those videos right there. Subscribe, like, leave a comment below. And you, yes, you can learn how to ride a skateboard. It's your time. It's time to go. Get on a skateboard and have some fun.